the NASCAR Sprint Cat Series rolls on into into Charlie Wars Speedway for the Talker Call 600, and we're over here in the Diamond House Pizza booth, and hello everyone, I am Jack Roberts with Scott Miles and Coming Speed. What is up? Yo! And we welcome you into today's coverage of the CRN of NASCAR on the Competition Racing Network. Last week was an unintentional off week. Week where we were supposed to run the All-Star Race. Unfortunately, that did not happen. And we have moved it. It has moved to... Moved to the weekend after the champion... After the champion has been crowned. So that we've got some drivers to watch for. And we got and we got some big names to keep an eye out for. For... This week from... And... From here on out, Dale Jr.'s number 88 ride will be filled by Jeff Gordon. This will be Gordon's 790th start? No. 798th, maybe? Yeah. 798th, and 798th start for Jeff Gordon. Now, Charles Bowen and Blake Cook kept the seat full. Get the seat hot for Dale Jr. Here's a keep an eye on Gordon as he qualifies in the rear. Some other names to keep an eye out for. Or is Brad Keselowski Talladega winner? Definitely really looking to claim a victory here in Charlotte Motor Speedway. Another name to keep an eye out for. Last week's winner, Kyle Lark well, winner from two weeks ago, Kyle Larson. And he's he's on fire and he's looking forward to winning it all here in the Coca Cola 600. Keep an eye out on Kurt Busch. He's not letting Larson get away in the standings. Absolutely not. And the fight between those two is close. It's six points separating those two. Tony Stewart retiring at the end of the season. Then looking to have a great run. Denny Hamlin when got moved over to the 01 Techno Racing Toyota. Uh, as Carl Edwards will now be in the 44, Kyle Busch will take over Denny Hamlin's number zero car. Alan Wicholi sitting in the ch sitting in the chase currently, but not by much. It's going to be a miracle right now. The cut line is 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 seventh. And you got 16 spots to fill. Chances are, ninth is going to be where the chase cut line begins. One more driver to watch for. Paul Sitter, Chase Elliott. Rookie driver. New car, new sponsorship, new everything. Everything with deals from Kelly Blue Book, Napa Auto Parts, and Mountain Dew to be official, official sponsors of the number 24 team. Jay Elliott, the rookie, making getting his first pole position. Should be behind him. Behind him, 28 cars that look to take that victory and the win away from him. But bef before we get the command, we would like to take a moment of silence to remember the life of Brian Clawson. gone but never forgotten and taken away from us too soon rest in peace Brian Clausen now let's go get the command gentlemen start your engines 29 cars roar to life here in the Charlotte Motor Speedway and it's time to get your starting lineup Scott you want to take this one I got this tonight's starting lineup is brought to you by Bush Beer Bush Beer, here's to earning it. On the front row, starting on the pole position, is Chase Elliott in the number 24 Chevrolet. Starting next one is Damian Curry in the number 8 Chevrolet. In row number 2, starting third is Kurt Busch in the number 41 Chevrolet. Next one is Jeff Burton in the 19 Dodge, starting fourth. In row number 3, starting 5th is Ryan Blaney in the number 90 Ford. Next one in 6th is Dave Reagan in the number 32 Dash. 
and on the 427 is Kevin Larson in number 42 Chevrolet. Next one is Matt DiBenedetto in the number 93 Chevrolet starting 8th. And around number 5, starting ninth, is Jimmy Johnson in the number 48 Chevrolet. Next to him in 10th is Travis Corporal in the number 12 Dodge. Row number 6, starting 11th, is Tony Stewart in the number 14 Chevrolet. Next to him in 12th is Austin Dillon in the number 3 Chevrolet. Row number 7, starting 13th, is Ryan Reed in the number 19 Ford. Next to him in 14th is Alan Joy in the number 50 Chevrolet. In row number 8, starting 15th is Michael Annette in the number 45 Chevrolet. Next to him in 16th is Brad Keselowski in the number 2 Ford. In row number 9, starting 17th is Casey Kane in the number 25 Chevrolet. Next to him in 18th is Reed Turnson in the number 33 Chevrolet. Row 12 features two more drivers making their season debuts. Starting 23rd is going to be Brian Cole Witt in the number 49 Dodge for Everyman Motorsports. Next to him is Jay Hildebrand in the number 81 Chevrolet for Human Racing. In row number 13, starting 25th is Denny Heyman in the number 01. Technical Racing Toyota. Next to him in 24th is Jeff Gordon in the number 88 Chevrolet. In row number 14, starting 27th is Kyle Bush in the number 0 to Minnesota for Technical Racing. Next to him making his season debut in 28th is Casey Mears in the number 13 Jermaine Racing Chevrolet. And rounding out the field in 29th is Ryan Smith in the number 35 Chevrolet. And before we get started with today's Coca-Cola 600, I'd like to go over some of the track facts. It's a one and a half mile quad oval that looks like an oval for whatever reason. So we have 29 cars in the field. It's going to be a grueling 20 laps. And of course, the day to night shift is going to be the key to how you, to who wins the race. Also, who has the best endurance. The green flag is going to fly. We're about to go underway here on the Competition Racing Network. Pace car peels off down to pit road. Chase Elliott is the field to the green flag. is up in the air. We're underway here in the Coca-Cola 600. Great start by Jamie McMurray, but Chase Elliott gets a better one as he flies down the back of the way and heads for turn number three as the race leader. Chase Elliott will lead lap one. This is the field to one flag. Number two. Number two on the board. Chase Elliott can take the run. Here comes car push. Gets a side by side run with Chase Elliott. Not gonna get, not gonna get there. Chase Elliott continues to lead. Kurt Busch will maintain the inside. Gets a run on McMurray. Takes second away. Lap three. Goes on the board. Chase Elliott has led the open two last. Kurt Busch goes to the inside. Takes the lead away. And now he will lead. The goal call is 600. Lap number three. Up. He must be complete, Chase. Kurt Busch will lead. Lap number three. Which we can have number four. Chase Elliott looks to the outside. Kyle Larson on the inside. They go three wide for the lead. Kyle Larson takes the lead. Trouble! Landon Castle around, he flips Andover in twice. Denny Hamlin, Reed Sorensen, Eric Amarola, Cole Witt, Brian Scott, Kyle Bush all involved, J.R. Hillebrand even there. Kyle, Landon Castle, lost, got clipped by guy on, came off the nose of Cole Witt, flipped twice. Green flag will fly back in the air on lap 8 of 20. Here we go. Green flag flies in the air. Kyle Larson will lead the flag. They go right they're in trouble! David Rake goes around! David Rake is going to have a tire go down. He hit the pit wall. Let's see if we can confirm that. Yep, the tire went down. He just spins around. Hits nothing but the outside, pit, the inside pit wall with his left quarter panel. The team has will, has, will be going down the pit road to fix that. Well, they're going to be racing under the lights really soon. Here they come. Kyle Larson needs to feel a busy the team is down the pit road for more. Let's go to Calvin Hobbs. Calvin, 
Four tires and fuel. That is the call for everybody right now. Kyle Larson's down in the way. Matt DiBenedetto down in the way. Tony Stewart and Chase Elliott down in the way. Travis Quapple down in the way. Jamie McMurray down in the way. Everyone's leaving pit road. Chase Elliott, Tony Stewart, Kyle Larson, top three. Back to you guys. Thanks, Calvin. Green flag will fly right back through the air here on lap number 12. Let's get it started. The, under the lights, green flag flying through the air. Ryan Reed and Austin Dillon lead the field to the green flag. Great start by Ryan Reed and Austin Dillon. Chase Elliott three wide. He goes to the He takes the lead away. He's now flying down the night green way. Trouble! Aragon will roll with blows his engine. His night is over. And this all really starts when on the start, Eric Amarola just does not get going, and it only gets worse from there. Meanwhile, out front, Chase Elliott is able to take the lead away after making it three wide. What a move by Chase Elliott. <laughs> yeah, and there you see Kyle Larson's engine just blow up. Yeah, that, yeah, that was pretty unfortunate for him. So we're going to see the green flag fly right back through the air on lap number 15. Green flag jump! Fly right through the air. Chase Elliott takes off. Ryan Reed's able to stick with him, but not for long. Kyle Larson's able to go, go through the air. He looks still there. Free wide for a second. Kyle Larson takes it. Chase Elliott continues to lead. Now that they go on to lap number 16, Chase Elliott leads the field. They head back for turn one and two. Down the back straightaway. Kyle Larson being challenged by Austin Dillon for third trouble. Reagan Smith loses the tire. Cole Witten and David Reagan had nowhere to go on that one. Call it a night for them. Regan Smith had a tire go down and Cole Witten and David Reagan just got involved in it. Nowhere to go for them. Green flag will fly through the air on lap number 18. Two, three laps to go here in here in here in Charlotte, green flag flies through the air. Chase Elliott takes off to a great restart. Kyle Larson spins the tires. Jeff Gordon's able to go to second. And they head down the back straightaway. Lap number 19. Two laps to go for Chase Elliott. Elliott's holding on with everything he's got. He heads down the back straightaway. Going to turn number three and four. One last time. Hope nope, never mind. Green white checkered. Kyle Bush blows his engine. His day's over. Take a look at this again. Chase Elliott's on the roll, and then all of a sudden, you just see Kyle Busch blow his engine. His night is over. So we're going to have a green-white checkered. Lap number 21 of 22. Green flag flies here. Chase Elliott takes off. Jeff Gordon does not. And here comes Alvin Jolie. We haven't talked about him all night. Here he comes. He's looking to get by Chase Elliott. He's holding off Kyle Larson. White flag in here this time by Kyle Chase Elliott down to the turn number two. Down the back door. Alvin Jolie is contested. He goes back in front of Kyle Busch. Chase Elliott will win the Coca-Cola 600. What a race. And now Chase Elliott's burning down. And what a way to end the season. Congrats to the 24. Now let's take a look at your unofficial, your unofficial Coca-Cola 600 results brought to you by Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Open a Coke and enjoy the race. Finishing first, Chase Elliott. Alan Majoli finishes second. Third place, Kyle Larson. Fourth place, Austin Dillon. Matt DiBenedetto, fifth place. Sixth place, Jimmy Johnson. Tony Stewart finishes seventh. Eighth place, Jamie McMurray. Ninth place, Ryan Reed. And Kurt Busch rounds out the top ten. Finishing eleventh, Jeff Gordon. Finishing twelfth, Jeff Burton. Brad Kozlowski, thirteenth. Denny Hamlin, fourteenth. Ryan Blaney, fifteenth. Sixteenth goes to Casey Mears. Seventeenth, Casey Kane. Eighteenth, Travis Quapel. Nineteenth. Kyle Bush and Cole Witt rounds out the top 20. 21st, Regan Smith. 22nd, David Reagan. Eric Amarola finishes 23rd. 24th, Joey Logano. 25th, Mike Lynette. Landon Castle finishes 26th. 27th, Ryan Reed. Brian Scott, 28th. J.R. Hillerman rounds out the top 20. And why don't we take a quick look at your standings. The top five in standings are as followed. Kyle Larson has the points lead going into San Diego. Going in second, Kurt Busch down by 13. 23 points back of Kyle Larson is Matt Benedetto. Chase Elliott, 24 points back. Jimmy Johnson and Tony Stewart are tied up at 29 points back. Jeb Burton has is 31 back. Alan Mitchell, 36 points back. Travis Quapel, well, 39 points back. They're all safe in the chase, and Ryan Reed is 31 points ahead of the chase cut line. That's all the time we have here in Charlotte Motor Speedway. Wait, tune in next week for, for the CRN Road Course Doubleheader. We kick it off on on Saturday with on Saturday here in the USA with the Japan with the Japanese Grand Prix for the Duracell World Racing League. 
and then Sunday we have a we have another epic 10 lap road course race for the NASCAR Spring Cup Series, the first one on the season. Then in San Diego, California, the GoPro 350. Damn, we're looking forward to having such a great time with that. Of course, we now know eight of our chase racers have solidified a spot. The question is, who's going to join them? Will it be Ryan Reed, Austin Dillon, Casey Kane, Brad Keselowski, Michael Annette, Jamie McCray, and Ryan Blaney, or will Fiona show up? Until next week, I am Jack Roberts.